It is me, Samantha. Welcome back to another video. And today it is June 8th. Whatever day it is, by the time this video drops, I hope that you are having a fantastic day. If it's a work day, if it's a weekend, I hope you're doing well. And this video is gonna be a little bit different. It is gonna be, it's gonna be more of like a helpful vlog, but like a daily vlog at the same time. So basically, if you don't already know, me, Samantha, my sister, Sara, my mom, Jackie, we have a family business, which it is mentioned in our videos, that we have a hair care company called Kumasi Cosmetics. And we have a pop-up shop tomorrow in Brampton. And we are basically just prepping the day before so we can have a nice smooth sailing process for tomorrow morning when we have to head out in the afternoon. So I thought about those who have other businesses as well. Oh, this fly, this fly. Okay. for those who have a small business and you guys are doing pop-ups as well or maybe you're thinking about doing pop-ups this video where you can see how we prep the night before how what we do in order to have a nice smooth sailing process tomorrow so if you are interested in this kind of stuff let us know in the comment section if this was helpful and if we should do more of these because we've been doing so many pop-ups for the past three years that I think we're now we're pros at this like we've been making products from like two weeks prior to have prepared for tomorrow which is Sunday so we're not making everything the night before that's kind of like where things kind of go wrong because you're always in a rush for pop-ups so everything's pretty much done right now all I have to do is label well they're already labeled I have to do some last-minute labeling for some hair care for the hair gel and for the hair renew spray and then I have to shrink wrap them so I'm going to show you the process of how that's being done and then you know showing you what we put inside our boxes our crates things that you will need for a pop-up shop okay I hope you're enjoying our non-aesthetically pleasing kitchen <laughs> Nice cut, cut, cut. We just live in a nice cozy old Brampton house. Nothing too, nothing too crazy. <sighs> hey guys. So now that I'm done eating, I just changed off into something cozy. This is actually like my sister's middle school sweater. But the funny part is, is we went to the same middle school, so technically, it's my middle school sweater too. But I actually have my own, but pick up to David Leader Middle School. The elements! <laughs> but anyways, so tomorrow, like I said, is our pop-up shop. So right now, I showed you guys all the products that we have. We have the moisturizing shampoo, the Fafeno Greek deep conditioner. We have our hair moisturizers, which is like our hair food. Um, all of that stuff. So my job right now is I need to do some labeling. So for example, these are the bottles. I need to get the labels. These are our labels right here. So we these labels are ordered from Sticker Mule. If you are looking for a company for your labels, 
we I would recommend Sticker Mule. There is another one, but we're gonna test out company out first before we give that as a suggestion. But right here we have our Curl Renew spray labels. And what it is, is they give us each page or each paper has two stickers. All right, that's one. So I need to label all the Curl Renew sprays. I need to label the styling gels. I just need to do three 16 ounce hair food, which is the bigger hair food bottles. So I gotta label that. Gotta label the Curl Renew spray, as well as the gel. I need to shrink wrap them. If you don't know what shrink wrapping is, for those that are just getting into the business, this is what we call shrink wrap. So it's like a sealing. Basically we are sealing the products so that it doesn't burst, nothing spills. And then because we're selling this as a duo, we just seal the both of them together. So when we have them in the pop-up shop, they see that it can be bought as a pair or they can buy it individually. Another example of one is this. this is a hair drip that has been sealed. So that's two things. Make sure you have your labels. You can get your labels at Sticker Meal and then your shrink wraps as well. These shrink wraps were purchased from Uline, all right? And they all come in different sizes depending on which bottles that you get, all right? Usually in a process like this, when I'm gonna shrink wrap, I would put some gloves on just because our hands do develop oil or just in case we don't wanna just, you know, transfer anything on our hands to the product. We wanna be as clean as possible. So for right now, I'm not gonna use the gloves because we're gonna do some labeling and it's really hard to label with gloves on. It's not gonna align properly. What I do recommend is before you do any sort of labeling, wash your hands thoroughly, put some, um, use soap, water, hand sanitizer, let it dry, and then you can start labeling just so we can have our hands nice and clean and the oils is not being transferred to the label as well. That might leave like a little fingerprint mark. We don't want that, okay? So now we're gonna go and wash our hands. Gonna roll up them sleeves, make sure our hands are nice and dry. Perfect. No water, no oil, nice and clean. Okay, so this is what we are going to duplicate. All of the Curl Renew sprays are gonna look like this. And once again, I'm showing you what the labels look like. So I'm gonna peel off one and start moving on to the others. So these two are done. This is the next one. And this is the front, so we want to make sure that the label front starts the, at the head of the Curl and Spray. Ooh, please ignore these nails. This is unacceptable. As a young lady, I should not be walking around the streets with my nail looking so very unacceptable. Please don't mind me. I will deal with this later. I mean, later, not later. Anyways, peel that off. I'm so nervous when I do this because I'm not the greatest. Oh my gosh. Before you even do that, guys, take some alcohol and you're gonna spray it on paper towel and we're just gonna wipe down the bottle. Take out any oil, take out any grease, because when we put the sticker on, we wanna make sure that there's no residue from anything on the bottle and to always make sure that the product is always clean. Here we go. I want to make sure that it's aligned and straight and you don't want to have any air bubbles, okay? So this looks like it's on straight. I leave it like that. And you're gonna press down on it to flatten it so no air bubbles are forming. Perfect. And I'm gonna do that just like this all around. And you want to press with some pressure because we're flattening it out. I'm gonna come back over here. Excellent. If you get like one air bubble, allow it. It's not the end of the world. Oh. Excellent. And then as you can see, the two ends meet and they're aligned perfectly. So that's how you know that your label is centered, okay? 
this is it. Isn't this beautiful? Like, if you were to go to the BS, go to your local supply beauty, local beauty supply store, and you see this on the shelf, like, aren't you not captivated to like see what it is and buy it and use it? Like, this is gorge. This is simple. It is. It's, it's mwah. I love how my business looks. Love it. Love it. Love it. And basically, that's pretty much the process of how you would label all products that's the same technique that i use for the hair drip the hair food the shampoos conditioners it's the same the same process okay so i'm going to go ahead and label the rest of um curl and use sprays as well as the gel and then i'm going to move on to the next thing so i'm gonna let you guys just watch me do that first before i move on to the next set of product okay <laughs> show you that this is what the sticker meal labels come into they're like this little brown folder and it, that's what it looks like and we're doing the hair food these are the 16 ounces which are the bigger ones and then once I, if I take it out this is the label okay and we are gonna wrap it around just like that and then these are our smaller ones these are the eight ounce hair food bottles and these are the 16 hair food also, I want to mention if you have products that, you know, are lotions, hair moisturizers, anything of the sort that requires a lid, I would recommend that you guys get some seals so that you can seal your product as well so there's no spillage, okay? So we're going to we seal these and then we're going to attach our lid and then once we attach the lid and put our label on, then we will do the shrink wrap. So there's a double seal, the seal that we put over and then the plastic seal that goes around it. There you go guys. So this is the hair food. It's all done and labeled. Highly, highly recommend if you have any products that are really oily, that are like oil paste, um, you have to, you have to use alcohol um, and clean around the bottle because this, the label is going to be very hard to apply because of the grease. It's going to be slippery, it's not going to stick, and it's going to make it more complicated for yourself. And when you're doing something like this, it's very tedious and you're going to want to speed through them. So if you can get them cleaned before applying the label, it, uh, it saves so much more time instead of you sitting there trying to, you know, stick it on as best as you can with all that oil. It's going to be hard save the trouble and just make sure that you sanitized all the bo boxes you sanitize all your products okay okay so now moving on to the fun part we are going to do the shrink wrapping everything is labeled um everything's done so we're just going to do the shrink wrap and i'm going to show you the equipment that we use for that process okay so this right here is our kumasi cupboard this is where we keep all of our stationary stuff So I'm going to show you all of our shrink wraps for each product. So for our 8 ounce hair food, the product right here, our 8 ounce hair food. These are the shrink wraps that we use. You can see. And they're purchased from Uline. We also use that for the 16 ounce hair food, which is the big ones that I showed you guys before. The next product, or no, the next one is for the 8 ounce hair drip and the 8 ounce natural styling gel. So this is the 8 ounce natural styling gel as well as the Curl Renew. They both would use the same shrink wrap because of the size is fine. And then this is the 8 ounce hair drip, which is the bigger ones which is our hair drips or our hair oils. This is the shrink wrap that we use for them. And we list all of the products that can be used with this shrink wrap. So eight ounce hair drip, eight ounce natural styling gel, and 16 ounce um, shampoo and conditioner as well. 
which are these bad boys. So our moisturizing shampoo conditioner bottles can also be used. These shrink wraps can also be used for it as well. It's a lot easier if you can have um, multiple shrink wraps for different use for different products. So for example, this one shrink wrap can be used for four different bottles that are which are different um, sizes, which is very helpful rather than buying shrink wrap for each individual product. It's just going to be way too expensive. As for this, is way more affordable um, for to make it way more affordable for you as a beginner small business owner that makes that does handcrafted products. Hopefully that made sense. This is for our edge fillers. Bada boom bada bing. This. Bam. And they all come like this so they all have like a, a band around it. And then these are our beard drips. That's the shrink wrap and it's for this. So recap of everything that you need for a pop-up right now. You need your labels. You can get that and not just for a pop-up. You need this for your business regardless. Your labels which you can get at Sticker Mule. There's other places that you can get but right now we are using Sticker Mule. And then Uline for shrink wraps for your product bottles. Um, so those are the two things that you would need when starting your business. You guys are probably wondering, Sam, how are we going to get to get this shrink wrap to stick on to the bottle? Well, that's when you have to invest in one of these, which is a heat gun. That is the group chat. That's crazy. Basically, how I like to do it is you have your shrink wrap. You're going to have to ignore that ringing in the background. You slide it on to your bottle. Make sure that the shrink wrap is centered and spaced flat where the logo is. Then you get this heat gun, which is sold on Amazon. That's where we got our, oh, this, these nails is really, really embarrassing. Anyways, it's found on Amazon. All it has is just an on and off button. And then it generates heat. You're gonna go ahead and just start shrink wrapping it. I like to hold it tight, start from the bottom, work your, work your way up. The skill with this is as you're going, you kind of have to turn the bottle. It takes time. It's mostly when you do it physically yourself, it makes more sense. And you want it to get it as flat as possible. The flatter it looks, the more professional it looks as well when you present it at a pop-up shop. And you also don't want it too close to your finger. You want to give it some distance because it is really, really hot. The hotter it gets and then it will start to rip. Anya's barely. You, you guys are you guys are black, you guys are Jamaican and like, oh. what? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Vlog one, YouTube. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys welcome back this is a new day it is now pop-up day so as you can see I have my hair my natural hair done ready for the pop-up always have to do natural hair so they can see that the products work and then I have on my Kumasi cosmetic shirt 
So now I'm going to show you the essentials that you need to bring for pop up. Here we have our fanny pack. This fanny pack is, has all the money in it. So you always want to come with some cash. And then if they do pay by cash, you're going to want you're going to want a sales book. You can get this at Dollarama, Dollar Tree, any dollar store. So if you're paying cash, write down all your sales in here. If they're paying by card, you're going to want a machine. Machines and they come with chargers as well. You can pay by debit and Visa and MasterCard with these. So make sure that they're fully charged before pop-up day. Everything goes inside here. And then someone wears it sideways on the waist. Because we saw hair care products, we have to, sometimes we have testers for them to feel and smell. So we always make sure that we carry paper towel so they can have something to wipe their hands with. As well as some wipes just because it can get really greasy and really oily. So that stays in one separate bag, just like that. You're gonna need shopping bags to put the product in once they make a purchase. To save money, we have paper bags because they're the least expensive. These ones are from Uline. To give it some personality, we have tape that has our company name on it, Kumasi Cosmetics, also from Uline. We take this tape and we put it on the paper bag, which makes it look like this. So if you don't have the enough ones to make a bag with design, you can kind of do something yourself with what you have. We have a separate bag for just all of the shocking bags. And we have, if I do this, this is our display case. So our display case, this opens up. And then these are our shelves. And the product, like this, would go on the shelves. Like us, we have a display case and a table. On the tables, we also have other riser stands that we put on them. And then product would go here, just so that not everything is on one level. Products are higher, some products are low. That just gives the table have more of a variety, rather than it just being plain and boring and you're just looking at a table that just goes straight. Like just products going all across the table you know, or holders for your business cards. You have to. These were purchased at Staples. So we have two. You're going to want to decorate your table so it looks appealing to your customers. So we have pictures that are framed up from our photo shoots. So these is for, this is for the beard products. This is a regular picture frame. We put this on our table. These ones are fixtures. These ones are purchased from Dollar Tree, I believe. And then we just put this as a picture of advertising the deep conditioner. We put this on the table. We've got this one, another fixture, so it has a backing to stand on. It's really important because it has our logo, don't give up on your hair. It has things that we're known for, sulfate-free, paraben-free, cruelty-free, non-GMO, vegan. It has our company name, as well as the QR code that links to our social medias. So this is important to have on display as well at your pop-up so that they know how to find you if they don't, if you don't have a business card. And also make it look visually appealing for your customers. And also visuals are very important. So if you have a product that is to enhance your customer's experience, such as hair products for hair growth, skin products for dry skin, um, anything try and have testimonial photos so we have here our alopecia client and then her before and then during her treatment this is not an after but it's just what her hair looked like within from January to March so that's just also important to have so people can see that hey the products work and then another picture here we have of our hair food which is our hair moisturizer what it looks like in the hair, that's my hair, and then another product showing what it looks like in the bottle. And then right here we have a mirror that we bring, it's a very nice mirror, nice and big. We have this mirror here because when we put the product in our customer's hair at pop-ups, they're able to see the results, so a nice big one that they're able to see themselves in. So these risers go on the table, that's completely different, this is that, that stands by itself. But this riser is also for little small products or smaller edge fillers can go on this 
or even the beard shampoos because they're quite small. You just want to make sure that when you're applying it that it screws on properly because you can see they're getting a little loose. Just this one. But it just needs to get a screwdriver for it to be screwed properly. And then it'll go back to being secure. Here is another example of testimonials that we like to bring for pop-ups. So when we're explaining our products to a client, they can see for themselves. So this is our friend, or my friend, and that's what her hair looked like in 2020. And this is what her hair looked like in 2022. So now she has an updated version because 2024. So we gotta get that printed out. And it's good to have multiple versions of these. So if it's just more than one person at your booth and you're talking to somebody, you can show them this and somebody else who's um, talking to another customer can have one as well. Product photos. We had this when we were first starting out with pop-ups is a, a chart or a diagram of the product. And then there's five main ingredients that are in it. So when you're talking to a customer and you're getting nervous and you forget, you can always refer to this chart and be like, okay, so our deep conditioner, it specializes in having castor oil, aloe vera, amla, and avocado. So if you forget, it's a good reminder. And if you have it on the table, it's also great for them to see as well. An email list, you can get them to write their name, their Instagram, their numbers, and their email. So whenever you have like sales or promotions or anything, or even pop-ups that you want to let them know about, you can send them emails. That's a good way to, what am I trying to say? That's a good way to engage with your customers and can continue to have a customer relationship. Oh, I can't. It's so bad. They look horrible. No, it, I feel like I'm doing it. No, 